There's a gallery on the National Mall that often goes ignored, the Freer Sackler Gallery of Art, which deals with Asian and, um, I believe, Indian art, also, I guess, um, Middle Eastern art. But today I drew the Bodhisattva, which is a sculpture that was made in Afghanistan in the 4th century. Um, it caught my eye mostly because there was a place to sit right in front of it. Um, so it's it was nice and convenient for me to draw it. Uh, and I'll, I guess I'll read you a little blurb about it. This colossal head, almost 21 inches, with a serene face and downcast eyes, belongs to an image of a bodhisattva, enlightened being, who would have been part of the sculpted tableau in a Buddhist monastery. Quite possibly, it flanked an even larger image of the Buddha and was accompanied by figures of monks and devotees. So I wanted to do a shortish painting that ended up being a really long painting. This is the uh, sketch phase. I'm filming with my phone, so hopefully you guys can see it, okay? This is the sketch phase using my... Um, it's a hard lead that I'm using for this because you don't want to use soft leads when you do watercolors. Your the the black lead is gonna get all in the water. It's gonna make it look really ugly. Don't use soft leads when you're um, drawing, water making watercolor drawings. Making sure I get the proportions right. Putting in the wash, very light brown wash. Eventually, I made the made the wash a lot darker. As you can see here, add a little red. Try to get that blue smudge out of the way on the right. You can see me darkening it. You can't be afraid to make things darker. That's one thing that I'm learning in life. Um, <laughs> you have to make, you have to be bold with your colors. Really get in there. So you see me making things darker to sort of match the fact that the sculpture is much lighter than the background. It comes, it it comes forward in space when you do things like this. I wanted to show you the texture. You see how wet the paper is. Look at that. That's how many layers of the, the wet stuff I put on there. Now I'm getting a much darker pigment to get the shadows in there. Um, you're supposed to work light to dark. I sort of um, disobeyed that right here. But it came out all right. Popping in the eyebrows. And now the really dark darks of her nose and mouth. And um, the nose, mouth, and the shadows behind her hair were the darkest points. So... The eyes and the eyebrows are my favorite part of this drawing, too. What I did here was I added acrylic paint, a, uh, a light sort of film of acrylic paint, mixed that in, and I started laying that in over top of what I had put in the thinner layers. Yes. Um, I might have overdone the red a little bit, but overall, I think it... It works, which is good for now. I'm still learning watercolor. It's not my best medium, but I'm starting to love it. Using my Japanese ink brush to lay in the darks because I get to, uh, I'm, I'm scared to just rely on the paint still. Here's some detail on the eyes. It's a really fun part to draw. I put a lot of uh, time making the the eyes and the the eyebrow indentations, trying to make them look a little more three D, adding a little like little specks and blemishes to her skin. Um, in hindsight, I I did mess up the proportions, but I, that's what you get when you're too you're rushing through the sketch phase too much. Like I've mentioned before, you have to spend a lot of time on your sketch phase, otherwise you're gonna end up with a bunch of mush. Finishing touches to her ear. All right, yeah, it's so after adding the specs. And here is another picture of the Bodhisattva to refresh your memory before I show you the uh, the first phase of this. All right, that's what it ended up looking like after I added a little few more layers of the white. Um, it was really dark when I was drawing it, so it was interesting to see that contrast when you bring it out into the daylight just how, how different colors can be when you have a pure uh, sunlight on it. Now, 
what was exciting is after I after I did this, I wanted to just lay into the drawing some more. I got the life drawing part done. Boom. All right, I did okay, an okay job on that. But I wanted to see how, how much further I could push this drawing. Because there were a lot of interesting shapes happening with the colors and whatnot. And the line. So I added this while I was on the Metro. Unfortunately, my GoPro had died and my phone didn't have any more space on it. But in the next video, I will be showing you... Um, I will be pushing the drawing further, seeing where else I can take it. Um, I think it's going to get really weird and crazy. I might make an animated version of it. Who knows? Uh, keep watching, and I will see you guys soon.